Okay, so this is our Halloween lesson, and here are a few of the expressions that we learned on the lesson. Now, to remind, another way of saying that, we can use this idiom to jog your memory, to give you a little nudge to remind you of something. To knock your head really means to bang or bump your head. The confusion is with this word, knock. But it could be you bump your head, hit your head, lots of different ways of saying it. To have a mind like a sieve, thanks for this other uh, expression, to be absent-minded, means you easily forget things. It's really difficult for you to remember things because the memories just come out like through the sieve like water. To have your head screwed on means that you're a sensible person. It's a really nice expression to learn. To flirt means to chat up or to talk to someone that you fancy a lot. Crop up come up. They're exactly the same phrasal verb, they mean the same thing, which means to happen. Sorry, I can't see you today. Something's cropped up, something's come up, something's happened. Lighten up. We struggled with this one today. It means don't be so serious. We literally go up to someone and say, look, lighten up. It means don't be so serious. And then, thank you, Joel. Take it easy, you know. Don't be so serious. And finally, to sum up means to conclude. It means to just put that final point on whatever you're saying, which I'll talk about soon when we talk about the exam. Here are your words, the pronunciation problems today. Booked, we have to remember for most of our regular verbs in the past that we have this t sound. Some of them have a d sound, but you can get around it by using the t sound for most regular verbs, like worked is another t sound. European. Flirt sounds like girl, we use the same er sound. Saw. Now this is a problem that's coming up a lot, and I don't normally talk about pronunciation at the end of my conversation classes. But this or sound, we use it so often with words like bought and caught and taught and fought. And it and I do when I'm trying to explain this to people. Um, who are new to the, ex this, this, the pronunciation of this word, I say you have to look a bit stupid. You have to look like this, or. This, this whole facial expression looks a bit silly, but it's the way of getting that sound. Of course you can do it by saying or, but it's much better if you go or and really use that at the beginning to get the sound right. It looks like this in phonetics, and the last one here, of course, without the RY, you've got the word count, which, you, which is an owl sound. But as soon as you add the RY, it's like a country.